everyone! So today's video is going to be all about lap time with your guinea pigs and I'm going to get the guinea pigs out from the cage, show you my kind of setup for lap time and give you some kind of tips and important information about lap time which you might find useful for using with your own piggies. So first of all, um, lap time, which in case, in case you don't know, which I'm sure a lot of you do, lap time is just kind of what we call when you take the guinea pigs out from the cage and you give them a cuddle. You are just kind of bonding with them, interacting with them and building up that really important trusting relationship between you and your guinea pigs. So that they kind of get to know you more and they don't just see you as this big hand that comes into the cage and does the feeding and the cleaning out um, so they actually get to know you and trust you a bit more and it is such a wonderful feeling when you know that your guinea pigs trust you enough to say fall asleep in your lap it is so sweet and um, I think everyone should do lap time and try to get to that point where their guinea pigs are really tame um, because it is, it is such a nice feeling knowing that so anyway, um, oh, I was just going to say, although I haven't done a video on lap time before, I do have one on taming, which is really useful for just general tips on getting your guinea pigs used to you and taming in general. So that one, I think it's called The Theory Behind Taming Guinea Pigs, and that one might come in useful for if any of you watching are new owners. I'd really recommend watching that one as well as this one on lap time. So anyway, that's that said, let's get on with the video and let's get the guinea pigs out. So here I am with the piggies and this is an example of the kind of setup that I like to do for lap time. So on the bottom here we've just got a normal fleece which kind of protects whatever they're on. <laughs> they're actually on the bed at the moment uh, but usually I uh, will set it up on the sofa. You want one of these? Ooh. <laughs> then we also have their wadproof lap pad and I've put Annie and Lola in here because they do have a tendency to pee <laughs> and Sprite is just in a normal cuddle cup type bed. If I put them all in there then they're likely to get on each other's nerves and argue a bit um, and they won't be as comfortable as if uh, Sprite is in the separate one. And she doesn't mind, she's a, she's quite a solitary piggy, she she gets on and does her own thing usually, so uh, she's quite happy in that one. You want some more me, Lola? Oh. <laughs> and as you can see, obviously, I've also got some food out for them and I've got it in the form of some fresh vegetables, which is some celery here for them and I've also got some of their other treats, their fenugreek crunchies that they also like. But as you can see, um, as Lola just took one of these and then went for the celery straight after. They prefer the fresh vegetables much better and that's one of the reasons why I don't really bother with um, many of these treat type things for my guinea pigs. Um, generally guinea pigs will always prefer fresh vegetables over any kind of treats and especially during lap time. You will win them over with fresh vegetables I'm sure and it's a really great tool to use when you're taming in general. Um, the way to their heart is definitely through their stomach. <laughs> So anyway, as I said before, lap time is a really great way to bond with your piggies. As you can see, I've got all three of my guinea pigs out at the moment. And this might be a challenge to get all of your guinea pigs out if you um, have young piggies and <laughs> catching them can be a bit of a challenge. They probably will be more comfortable in their pair or trio or however many you've got. I think it's okay to start off um, one at a time if, you know, getting them both out at the same time is not that safe and you don't want to risk one of them um, ending up on the floor if you're trying to pick two of them up at the same time, that kind of thing. So, yeah, you can, you can, you can uh, do lap time with a group of piggies or a single piggy, depending on what works best for you. <laughs> They're so funny. Annie, you want a piece? Oh, yes. So if you're just starting off with lap time, I'd, I'd recommend um, also having a cover or something like this that they can kind of hide away and snuggle under. Um, I wouldn't discourage them from going and hiding at all, it's just something that um, is natural for them and something that they'll want to do. Um, and if you kind of start discouraging um, them from doing that and um, exposing them and making them come out into the open all the time then they won't see lap time as an enjoyable experience. So let them hide away if they want to. Um, in their own time they will eventually come out and um, interact with you more. 
So something that people also ask about is whether to have TV or music or any kind of background noise, um, which I think is okay once they're more kind of used to coming out for lap time and they're a bit tamer. But I think from the beginning you kind of want to reduce the amount of background noise. So I wouldn't recommend having the TV or, or if you have it on, only have it on quietly so that um, they're not going to get shocked by any loud noises or anything like that. I'd also definitely bring them away from the cage into a quiet room away from other pets and maybe other people that might um, disturb them and kind of put them on edge a bit. You want them to be as relaxed as possible. So another thing that people might wonder about is whether you should stroke them and talk to them and try and reassure them and I think this is definitely something that you should do. Guinea pigs do like being stroked in my um, experience. Some of the maybe the long-haired breeds or the Abyssinians maybe won't like being stroked on certain parts of their body but generally all guinea pigs will like being stroked kind of up here just behind their ears and they'll find it quite relaxing. But you want to be quite gentle with them. Um, obviously they are very delicate compared to us. You don't want to um, kind of be rubbing them up and down really rough. And they'll also like being talked to in, in you know, a nice soothing voice. And that just really helps them get used to you and um, realise that you're not scary or anything. No, oh, there's Sprite doing a yawn, yay! We hardly ever get Sprite yawning on camera. <laughs> Hello piggy. You're after your food, aren't you? So if you do put food out, you'll find that um, <laughs> they are going to gobble it up and they're not really going to relax that much. So if if I didn't have the food here, they'd probably be a bit more relaxed and Sprite would probably curl up and have a snooze. Um, so food is kind of good for bonding with them and getting them used to you, but um, maybe not so good when you want them to really chill out and have a sleep. Another thing that people might wonder about is if your guinea pig is kind of vibrating or rumbling on your lap and you're not quite sure what it means, um, if they're kind of shivering but it's like a vibration that comes and then stops and then they do it again a few seconds later, um, that's not them being cold or anything like that, it's actually um, them just feeling nervous, a bit scared maybe, a bit timid. And they might also rumble and or purr, some people call it. And I think there are different kinds of rumbling or purring noises. And some of them are good. Some of them, like when they're being stroked, they might like it and they might do a little purr. But then some of them are kind of a noise that means like, get away from me, I'm not happy. And it can be quite hard to distinguish between the different ones. So, um, <laughs> you're so cute, Sprite. Should we have a zoom in on you? Hello. Why are you saying hello to the camera? You're doing another yarn. You're so yarny today. Oh. Oh. So that was a kind of rumble which um, was probably because she stretched out and my hand was going further back. It might have been a bit like, oh, I'm not com quite comfortable with that stroke. But then again, it could have been like, oh, I'm quite relaxed. So it can be quite hard to uh, decipher what the rumblings actually mean. Let me know if you have your own theory on what it could mean and maybe some of the differences between the types of rumbling that they do. So try and do lap time as often as you can. Um, it's, it's always a really good thing to kind of um, build up that relationship with your piggies and bond with them a bit. Um, so although you might just take them out for, you know, 15 minutes at a time, try and do it, you know, daily, every other day if you can. And it's also not just a really great, great way to bond with the piggies, it's also really good for us humans. So it's a really nice thing to do to just take a break from busy life and relax a bit with your guinea pigs. So there we go, that's some general advice on lap time and showing my piggies out for lap time. I hope this video was useful for any new owner or anyone who has piggies which are maybe a bit skittish and are not that used to you yet or not that used to lap time. Um, as you can probably see during this video, Sprite is a lot more relaxed with lap time than the other two piggies, than these two which are now just hiding completely under the fleece and probably arguing with each other. So Sprite is more happy during lap time than these are and um, that's something that I want to try and work on with these piggies so um, I'll try and take them out a bit more often um, than I do usually. So Sprite hasn't been that sleepy today because she's been munching on all the treats and the celery, haven't you? But um, if I leave her out then she will probably go into a bit of a sleep. <laughs> so anyway, that's all I've got to say for this video. I hope you found it useful and I hope you've enjoyed seeing the piggies up close. What are you two doing? What is Annie's hair doing? She's got a massive quiff. <laughs>
So as always, thank you for watching so much and please um, leave a comment, uh, rate and subscribe if you haven't already.